Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you the Git basics. Git is an open source version control system, which you can download on the Git website. I'm going to put the link in the description box. The tutorial is separated in three parts. The first part is talking about how you can work with Git locally. The second part will show how you can work with a remote repository. And in the last part, we are going to talk about branching. Before we jump to the terminal, let's have a quick look at how Git works. So at first, you have your local machine with code on it. And then we have the staging area and the Git directory. So if you changed something in your code in your working directory, you can add it to the staging area with the command git add. Next, you can commit it to the git directory with the command git commit. And finally, if you also have a remote repository, you can push your code from your working directory to the remote machine with the command git push. The first thing you have to do is to move to the directory where you want to initiate a git repository. You can create a git repository with the command git init. Next, you can have a look at the status of the repository with the command git status. As you can see, we have a lot of untracked files because we didn't add them to the git repository yet. Sometimes you have certain files you want to exclude from a git repository. And to do this, first create a git ignore file. Type touch.gitignore. And then to open the file, use a text editor. I'm using Win. And then here you type the name of the file you want to exclude. I'm choosing day6.py. And then save the file. And if you now type git status again, you can see that the day six is not in the list of untracked files. Now to add a file to the staging area, you type git add and then the name of the file. Or you can simply add all the files by typing a star. Next, you can commit the files to the git repository with the command git commit m and then you write a message about the commit. So here we are just having our initial commit. So I'm saying initial commit. If you now type git status again, you can see we added everything except the git ignore file and the idea file, which we don't want to add anyway. Now let's continue with part two, where I show you how you can work with the remote repository. So if you want, for example, to fetch a GitHub repository, go to the GitHub website and then go to the repository and click on code. Here you have the URL from the repository, which you can copy by clicking here. And now you need to move to the directory where you want to clone the repository to. So I'm going to quickly navigate to a folder on my desktop. And then to clone the repository there, type git clone and paste the URL. Then to work with this repository, you can navigate into it. Let's now jump back to VS Code and change something. Let's change the to into a word and save it. Now go back to the terminal. If you want to have a look at the difference, you can do this by typing git diff. And as you can see, the red part shows what it was before and the green part shows what it is now afterwards. To add this change to our repository, we type git add. And then in my case, I simply use all and then git commit dash m and then the message which describes what you did. So we changed the comment. So say changed comment. Now you committed it to your local git repository. And to push this change now to the remote repository, type git push. Enter your GitHub username and then your password.
And now the changes are in your remote repository. If you are working in a team, before you push something, always pull the repository first, meaning that you fetch all the changes your colleagues made to the repository first, and then you push your changes. You can pull it with the command git pull. And one more thing, you should also set your configuration variables for your name and email. You can do this by git config dash dash global user dot name and then write the name and press enter. And then do the same for your email, git config dash dash global user dot email and then write your email and to check your configuration variables you can use the command git config dash dash list. The third topic I want to talk about is branching. When you work in a team you shouldn't work on the master branch but create a separate branch which can be merged into the master branch after your colleagues reviewed the changes you made. To create a new branch, you type git branch and let's just simply say test. And then to switch to this new branch, you write git checkout test. And then when you type git branch, you see your local branches and you have now the main branch and the test branch. And with the star, you can see on which branch you are on right now. Now you can again simply make changes to a file. So let's jump over to VS Code again. And by the way, also in the bottom left here, you can see the branch you are on. So again, we change something. We change this back to two and save it. And now we have git add and we add all. We can also type a star for all. Then git commit um, and then change comment. And now we want to push the branch to the remote repository. And for this we type git push new origin test and type your username and your password and now you have the branch also in your github repository and if you want to see all your branches type git branch dash a and here you can see our local branches main and test and also the remote branches in red remotes origin main and remotes origin test. And when you now make more changes to a file and want to push it again, you only need to type git push. But now we don't have anything to push. So if you want to merge the test branch to the main branch, you first need to check out the main branch again. And to make sure you are up to date with the remote main branch, perform another pull like this. And at the end, you see it's already up to date. To merge the test branch into the main branch, you write git merge test. Next, we need to perform this merge also on the remote repository. And for this, we write git push origin main. Type your username again. Finally, if you don't want to use this branch anymore, you should delete it. You can do this by git branch dash d test. And then to also delete it on the remote repository, you need to write git push origin dash dash delete test. And again, type your username and your password. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. 
Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye!